Yeah, I mean, overall mathematics, I think it's a, you know, a very powerful tool. It's proving that uh, it's super actual now. Everything we see around us is driven by mathematics, supported by mathematics. Most uh, application of mathematics, many of them came also by surprise. I mean, in a sense, many revolutions that we have in our society, really technological revolutions and many tools that we use every day, comes from math and people probably didn't even think at the beginning that math could be used for that. You got it first. I was watching when you got it, uh, you know, in Korea, so... It's a very nice feeling, of course. Uh, it normally comes uh, not as a goal, like uh, you don't start uh, doing math uh, looking for, for this. You do math because you get extremely enthusiastic with this kind of work and uh, you want to understand and uh, you really get enthusiastic and you get to know some uh, universe that uh, is just uh, available if you kind of really uh, invest yourself. And uh, that's what you're doing and normally I think that uh, you do this for years and years and uh, with just this motivation and one day uh, you might hear that people think that your work <laughs> might deserve uh, a medal and then uh, you, you are happy and uh, you might be surprised that people are thinking that because it was not your goal to start. So that's how were my feelings uh, kind of previous to, to, to this happening. And then in this case that it eventually happens, then uh, there are a little bit of change, like uh, you can get asked to give interviews and things like that. <laughs> it should never be a goal. I think never a price should be a goal because it would be too stressful to make something like that as a goal. But also it's not really under your control, right? So you, do, you have to do your best. You, as mathematicians, you know, we like research, we like what we study. And uh, we do what we do because, you know, we're passionate about it. Then, uh, yeah, at some moment someone mentioned, oh, maybe, you know, you may get a Fields medal. You're like, wait, no way. I mean, <laughs> that would be too much. Also, in my case, you know, I've been lucky enough to be then in the final <laughs> round of selected people. And of course, yeah, then life changes because it gives you visibility. That's, that's a clear fact, right? I mean, uh, from being an unknown mathematician, known, of course, to your community, but not outside. Then people also start to notice you just, well, because now you are one of these few people who got this medal. There are not many in the world. And then clearly then maybe you give interviews. You meet students. Uh, when I got my medal, I, I was in Brazil, right? Which is Arthur's country. And there were all, for instance, these students from high school who were doing math Olympiads. And then, you, so you get exposed to all kinds of situations where probably before you would not have been asked to interact with them, right? So, you know, there are a lot of pluses. Of course, there is also some responsibility coming with it, um, but that's part of the game. I started liking mathematics quite early as a, or mathematics, like things that could be related to mathematics, like numbers. At five, I was kind of getting pressed by this and trying to learn more, and I was getting interesting proofs quite early also, and getting books that were advanced also, but uh, that was not uh, doing math. It took some time and uh, a lot of learning. And uh, when I, it was during the PhD that uh, uh, I was kind of scared because uh, I w had been uh, kind of successful in learning math so far uh, to, to some extent and uh, doing kind of problems uh, that uh, like, uh, might be difficult but were uh, just kind of doing things that people know how to do. And there was this doubt about uh, will, will I be capable to kind of do something new? That's what's necessary. And uh, I had no idea about uh, if I had the right amount of creativity or the, the right characteristics to do that. Up to that moment, I was also kind of uh, attached to the idea of that you shouldn't make mistakes, that you shouldn't talk when you don't understand something. And, uh, and then uh, during, a, I can say maybe uh, during a, one first collaboration uh, with a mathematician that was born in uh, Kharkiv, Misha Leubich was uh, visiting Brazil at the at moment, the most uh, prominent mathematician in, uh, in the field I was studying. We would talk and they took his word uh, like extremely serious to think about after uh, and come together again to talk to him about uh, if I understood what he said. And it was a good process because uh, he was uh, often wrong when in this interaction. And they, it was extremely important to me to see 
that in doing math, he allowed himself to go wrong. Eventually, it was right. We wrote something uh, on that, and it converted. But it, it was uh, a moment that I saw how I could actually also do math, and I opened up a lot to the, to the process of research. So I think that that moment was really the beginning for, uh, for me doing research. If you kind of uh, uh, limit your ideas only to things that you're sure about, uh, you, 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 kind of get, uh, you cannot get very far. You have to, uh, to do things with a little bit more uncertainty. Of course, eventually you have to, to check and, uh, and you have to communicate. When you're communicating and collaborating, you cannot wait until you're, uh, you know what, exactly what to do. You have to bounce your ideas uh, and uh, correct mutually. The goal is not to be right before the, uh, the other person. The goal is to, to, to solve and get uh, understand things. So we help each other. Actually, to be honest, until the end of high school, I didn't even know that mathematicians existed. I mean, like the concept of doing math. Is there something to do in math? I mean, to be honest, I mean, when you think about it, as a common person, for me, mathematics was over, right? I mean, everything had been already known since centuries. And there is technology, for sure. There are engineers, there are physicists. But math, what else can you do? I mean, come on, it must be done. Uh, that's false. That's so much false. You know, it's absurd. Now that I think in retrospective, it's crazy that, uh, you know, one, I would think like that, because it's so much the opposite. I mean, sometimes we know so little. There are so many open problems in mathematics that, you know, in centuries from now, we'll still be <laughs> just at the beginning of keeping developing uh, mathematics. It's a very honest subject, mathematics, because it's, uh, I mean, either you're right or you're wrong. And uh, if I have an idea and it's correct, it's correct, no matter how junior or senior I am. That's actually very nice. I think it's something that makes mathematics a bit special. Since the beginning, I always was a person that was collaborating with uh, many people. So it was, uh, I was learning a lot by talking directly to people. So uh, those contacts were important. And uh, uh, people were, uh, even if I was quite young uh, when I started uh, traveling, uh, people were very open to discuss with me. So I got a lot of acceptance. I was, uh, I can must say that there is a, it's a very diverse uh, community in the sense of having uh, people that uh, think in uh, many different ways, the way they do math. You can do math sometimes the person really takes the problem and tries to solve it with a lot of intensity. There are people that just kind of lay down and uh, try to understand better the surroundings of the problem before uh, going forward. So, uh, and there are people with a lot of different uh, personalities working on this. So the diversity of thought and then uh, uh, of, uh, uh, there is acceptance. There's no better way to do it. So I thought that was a good realization when uh, I understood that I could try to be not exactly like, uh, I got a lot of inspiration from many of of, of my collaborators, but uh, I, I knew that I didn't need to find the best way among them. Like I tried to get to what was uh, my own way to do that. But the exposure to all those uh, those ways was quite important for me. So it, I got a lot from, from that interaction. I felt uh, in very soon very much uh, a part of, of the community. And then uh, I was very lucky to, to be able to participate so soon on that. There are these smaller communities, but then, uh, you know, there are bigger, bigger conferences. There are these uh, big events like the International Mathematical Congress every four years. And there you start to meet people from everywhere, you know, people from areas which are very far. Uh, yeah, it's always very interesting. I mean, uh, it's, there is always this idea that, ma I mean, in the end, mathematics is one. There is one mathematics made of several pieces. And uh, of course, everyone pushes its own directions, which makes mathematics now branching more and more. And for instance, makes it also difficult for mathematicians from different areas to understand what other people even do, because it's a language that changes from communities. Uh, but uh, overall, there is this idea that, you know, mathematics goes all together, we all contribute to it. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's a very good community. I think we're lucky. <laughs> What will come is not clear. I think just mathematics has been brilliant until now, and I think it will be brilliant in the future. You know, it will just be everywhere there is any kind of technology, because in the end, mathematics is, lang is this language that governs physics, it governs uh, uh, chemistry, it governs uh, what, uh, you know, all the uh, tools that engineers produce are based on math. So we'll see it all over and over.